to the actual form, we might want, say, more of a multiple step income statement, in which case we have a couple steps along the way. For example, we might take our revenue accounts here. Now note, when we look at our revenue accounts, we might put them in there. We might have more revenue accounts, for example, on our trial balance than maybe we want on our income statement. Maybe we want to condense some of those revenue accounts and have less line items. That's one thing to consider. We'll put them on all three revenue accounts. We've got the cost of goods sold. That's one of those big those big expense accounts related to inventory if you're in a business that sells inventory which often is a major component where people want the multiple step income statement breaking out that step total along the way of gross profit and then we've got all the expenses now if you look at some of the expenses here you might pick up some of the smaller ones and say hey you know maybe this smaller one i don't want a separate charge on my income statement because it's pretty small of an expense maybe i should group that in with some other expenses calling them other expenses or miscellaneous expenses or something like that. Then if we go down, you got the insurance, the internet, internet, you know, it's a pretty decent side. Then we got the miscellaneous. Maybe we put this in the miscellaneous too or other expenses. We've got the office supplies, payroll is going to be significant, the taxes, the telephone, the utilities. And then we're going to put these two items down here into their own category. So we don't have a whole lot of condensing in this particular worksheet because, because we didn't get too extravagant in our subcategories, but notice if you're working in larger type of companies, it's quite possible that you start getting a, a lot more 